If you'd like to know how Hinge works, welcome to my tutorial and review. In this video, we will see an overview of the app first, then how you set up your profile, also key features, and finally a little comparison between Tinder and Hinge, and my final thoughts. First, how does the Hinge app work? Very basically, like all dating apps, you fill in your profile with pictures of yourself and also a description so that people can go to your personality. Then the algorithm is going to scan your whole profile with all your data and also study your swiping behaviors, even your habits, in order to propose you the best matches. Which, if you'd like to know how to hack the Hinge algorithm, subscribe to my channel because this is exactly what we will tackle in my next video. Now, how do you set up your profile? After asking your very basic info, like your name, your birth date, location, also your phone number and your email, Hinge is requiring from you that you upload six pictures and you answer three written prompts that you can choose over, I believe, 100, which is pretty cool because it offers a wide variety to pick from so that you can customize your profile to the max and really make it yours and shine your personality the best. But I should say that at the beginning, I found it like a con. I thought it was a lot of info to ask for, especially with the six pictures, which I remember well. I procrastinated for two months on that between the moment I installed the app and then I made my profile live because I wanted to be so thoughtful about the images I choose as the best representation of myself out there. But in the end, I believe it is at your best advantage because when you answer those prompts and you provide pictures of yourself or your environment, your lifestyle, you just feed the algorithm with even more data that is going to help refine his research and so serve you the best. Then other optional features that are going to leave your profile up, video prompt and voice prompt. Moi je voudrais parcourir le monde Moi je voudrais voir le monde danser Which is pretty cool compared with Tinder which is purely a picture app I believe that, I think that having like the voice and, and, and the animated thing and makes it more alive and it mimics more like a real life medium yeah, I really love like this feature because it really gives more depth and texture to your person. So this was all the info that you display on your profile to show your potential prospect. But then there is a whole set of data that is pretty similar to what is on your profile, but that remains between you and the Hinge app to help the algorithm search. And this is your dating preferences, where you tell about your gender interest, do you like men, women, your geographical interest, where you state your city and a perimeter of research, age range, ethnicity and religion. And what I like, like this additional feature is called deal breaker, which is you can say, like, I strictly want men between 30 and 45, or I strictly want Asian men, for example. And I love it because it really responds to a mindset of clarity that we can have. And you know that clarity is success. Is that in this way, you will only get profiles that are in the age range that you like, that are the ethnicity or the religion that you like, so you don't lose time. And so I really love that this app is really designed with purpose. Now, what are the key features of Hinge? The basic principle is that it is going to propose you one profile at a time, like in many, if not all dating apps. The first time I thought that it was a bummer because you know, you want to have a variety of choice. You want to be able to look at all profiles before deciding and stuff like that. But in the end, I think it's more beneficial than anything because it really prevents you from procrastinating, from analysis paralysis and scrolling endlessly, which is very unproductive. And your goal is to find love, is to find a match. And so I really love that by suggesting you one profile at a time, it pushes you to decision and so action. 
just like in real life, you know, when you go to a cafe and you meet someone from far that seems interesting, you don't like sit here and observe endlessly. No, you need to take action in the here and now because you may lose that opportunity. This is your only and one chance. So take it, act. And so I really love that. So the first tab is the Hinge Discovery feed, where you will see profiles that are the most compatible to you, as you can see on the top. And then you can just scroll down and see all the info. And again, all those profiles are suggested to you according your dating preferences in the back end. Also what you have put on your profile and also studying again your swiping behaviors. Then if you see a part of the profile that you like, you can click the heart and then you wait for the other person to match with you, to accept the conversation with you so that you can finally start talking. And I like the fact that you can like just a portion of the profile. It could be a picture, it could be a prompt, because then the person can think, oh, this part of my profile resonates with her. And so it can be the start of a conversation. So it really makes the match more effective and really active. And then there is the like section, which is basically the section of people who have liked your profile. And you can see again one profile at a time unless you upgrade the version of your app. And finally, this is the maybe the most interesting part, the most productive part of the app is the standouts tab, where you will see profiles that are most your type. So they curate the best profiles out there according to your criteria, your dating preferences, and so on. And what is peculiar to this tab is that this is the catalog part of the Hinge app, which means that you have nine profiles in total that you can swipe through. And the only way to match with them is not by liking their profile with the heart, but rather by using roses, which those are pretty expensive in a sense that you have the right to use one rose a week. There is a refresh every Sunday. So you need to be very thoughtful and intentional when you use it or you will waste it. And you can always upgrade and pay for more so you are not stuck. And of course, then the messaging section, which as you can see, I have no match right now. This is the global tour of the Hinge app. Now to finish, I would like to compare my Tinder experience with the Hinge experience. I think that Hinge is for me way more way more purposeful app and this is why they say about it that this is the dating app that was designed to be deleted. I think it's true in a sense that it's way more intentional than other hookup apps like Tinder because one, I think that their algorithm is way more efficient. I see that it really takes into account, for example, my swiping behaviors. For example, if I only like men that have brown eyes and brown hair, the algorithm will really take note of it and propose me mostly profiles that match that criteria as much as possible. Okay, there are like misses here and there, but I think that this is more accurate than Tinder that to me literally has zero algorithm, unless maybe you get the paid version of it, which I had once a very good surprise with Tinder Plus, but other than that, I think that the free version of Hinge is uh, pretty impressive in my personal opinion. And as the algorithm is way more accurate, way more precise, I think that you will get more done with it than with Tinder. The probability to find a match is higher with Hinge than with Tinder. Another thing that I saw recently is that it also takes into account the type of photos that you have. For example, if you have um, like a LinkedIn profile type of photo, it will then scan it and propose you people, profiles that also have kind of professionally done pictures, which to me, it's pretty, like it makes sense because when you have a professionally made picture, it shows like a business, a professional side of you. And so professional will meet with professional. And another thing that I like quite with Hinge compared with Tinder is, for example, uh, the prompt ID. I 
think that it's so cool because we are not all good at writing, uh, especially describing yourself, finding the words to express ourselves. And so when on Tinder, you could have a bio that is quite empty, there is nothing or it's very boring. Hinge offers you those prompts and this is a journaling technique actually. When you don't know how to express, how to write, journaling prompts can help you articulate your thought and unfold it. And so I really love that the app actually helps you express yourself and really helps to express your personality at best. So this idea of prompt is really cool and really thoughtful. And also it makes the experience more enjoyable. It makes your profile less boring and the overall experience is way more cool with those prompts. So yeah, they really try to embellish your profile and really make you look at your best. And again, answering those prompts, the more you answer them, the video prompt, the voice prompt, the written prompts, the more data you fit the algorithm to better serve you. This was my quick tour on the Hinge app. If you'd like to have other insights from the Hinge app or other dating apps, please let me know by liking this video. And also I'd like to know in your comments, do you believe that you can find love on a dating app? Let me know. And if you have any experience in the field, share your story so that we can uplift each other in this singleness journey.